case put before us will determine whether or not Napoleon destroyed the very essence of the French Revolution. Napoleon did in fact leave France in ruins and in deeper despair than it had been under the rule of Louis XVI. He truly did not care about the well-being of the people, which was demonstrated when he overthrew the Directory and named himself Consul for Life. At his coronation, he crowned himself, proving that he was a totalitarian, greedy leader who only cared about the amount of power of which he received. His Napoleonic code was allegedly created to increase the say of the people in France, when in actuality, in actuality, he did not allow people to truly have natural rights. For example, Napoleon was known for restricting individual freedoms, such as speech and press. Although he was portrayed as an effective military leader, in reality, he participated in wars and battles simply to feed his own ruthless ambitions. While men were starving and freezing to death during the harsh winter in Russia, for example, he resided comfortably in his own carriage with plenty of food. Bringing his army into Russia was an unforgettable and unforgivable mistake that caused the death of over 30,000 men and extreme embarrassment for France. He forced the empire into ruins, and Napoleon gained multiple enemies throughout Europe for France. Out of sheer embarrassment, he gave up the imperial throne, which forced Louis XVIII to come into power. Napoleon did not care about the government or how the people would, would now be ruled. He only cared about his own pride when he fled to a small island named Elba. It would seem that after making such a horrible mistake and complete fool out of himself, Napoleon would not think to return. But it was quite the contrary, and due to his own greed and determination to gain popularity again, Napoleon planned his return to France. His only goal was to win over the people again and feed his alter ego. He was al it was also promised to allies that Napoleon would be peaceful and not participate in war, but war was inevitable with Napoleon as a ruler. It was even said by Allied leaders that Napoleon was an enemy and disturber of the peace in the world. As expected, Napoleon was defeated and made out to be an embarrassment once again when being defeated by the Duke of Wellington. Therefore, Napoleon Bonaparte completely destroyed the essence of the French Revolution. He brought about a state of turbulence in France and proved to be an embarrassment to the government and brought oh, and proved to be an embarrassment to the people and the government on numerous occasions. When situations proved to be difficult for him, he fled and once even tried to kill himself. His actions proved that he was not a true ruler and could not handle what was to come with his dictatorship. Napoleon was merely a coward. He made impulsive decisions in war that caused tens of thousands of unnecessary deaths. France has been put into a time of deep despair and needs a stable government and ruler. We are here to prove that Napoleon cannot offer the people of France that, and instead created a state of chaos and that is even greater than the Napoleon XVI rule.
My client has given to has given his life to friends. He's done absolutely nothing wrong. Ms. Beatty, can you state your opening statement? Thank you. 